last time I did holiday, they sent me to Las Vegas with the rich and the famous. The BBC liked the program so much that this time they've sent me to Southwold with my mum. Now, for someone who's used to a heady diet of funky Fuengarola nightlife, what would sleepy Southwold have to offer her besides its picturesque beach huts? Our first overexciting stop was at the sailors' reading room, where we met Mr. Ladd, the gentleman who built those very huts in 1934. And I, I built the well, 90 percent of these long here for 250 pound complete. The lot. Painted, fitted out. Now you're going to see how many lot to buy one and see what they are. I bet you. Five and six, seven thousand. Yeah. The word. Oh, isn't, isn't it funny? Well, I bet they're real durable as well. That's your curve in the size. Oh, thank you. What else could you get there? We're going to have a look at the lighthouse now. Some very, like, sort of special sort of people out there here, look. Agatha Christie type, do you know what I mean? Like in a novel. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a great place for a murder, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Am I supposed to be on it all the time? <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me all this. You just said, come, and, come along, you didn't say I was Holly. <laughs> Close to the public. Notice this lighthouse is close to the public. There is a scale model of this lighthouse showing the interior in the South World Museum in Victoria Street. Well, that's no good, is it? We can't get up it. Let's just stand here and rot our teeth quietly, really. It's just lovely, though, isn't it? Mm. It's like two or three different seasides rolled into one, really, because there's three different aspects, aren't there? How do you there's mean? There's a harbour. And there's this part, and then there's where we're staying, which is more the elite part, really, isn't it? We traipsed off, elitely, and gosh, small world, we happened upon the deputy mayor. Lots of people have said coming to South Hall is sort of like going back 100 years. And if going back 100 years means you're in a nice, decent place where people respect each other, well, more places should do it. That's all I can, <laughs> that's all I can say. What's the feeling here of everybody kind of watching out for everybody else? But... I mean, this gentleman is painting this house up there, and it's... Like... That gentleman is on holiday, because he normally paints the beach huts. Oh, really? <laughs> and he's taken a holiday and come into the town, you see? This Isn't that is right, Jeffrey? This is a holiday. We spoke really... to the man who just built them, though. We spoke to him in, in that well, museum. That's his dad. That's his dad, actually. Oh, right. oh, oh, oh. oh the... Have you been on the ferry yet? Everyone asked us. It'll be packed. Much busier at the weekend, does it? Look, I'm getting brave now. There you are. There you are, you see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You'll notice we didn't pay. <laughs> well, they'll pay, won't they? I hope the um, camera crew, who were um, not in the boat, of course, will um, do the honours. Having scrimped on our BBC expenses, we felt we'd earned our dinner. Nice room, isn't it? Rag rolling, you see. That's the way to do it. Very, very delicate. Not smashed under the trowel. Too calipay, too proud, too shy. Chicken and apricot loaf served with a black currant compote. Is that what you'd normally have at home? The light is particularly delicate too, and artists of all ages have made Southwold their light motif over the years. A nice little beach, isn't it? If you were offered. A couple of days in Southwell, what would you say? I'd have snatched them. What's that light over there, though? Oh, it's just the sun bouncing off size, well. But don't worry about radiation in the sea. There's no more released each year than in a packet of Brazil nuts. Huh. Yeah, Allegedly. Like, there, is, there is a possibility. Finish taking So food. you're uh, trying to extol the virtues of Southwell, are you? So I think it's delightful. It's fantastic. Yeah. As it is, which means it's not been really discovered. It's not been spoilt by a load of yobs. Yobs, yeah. <laughs> Those are the things they can make a quick buck by coming in and, and setting up a, a whelk stall or a fish and chip yeah. concession or whatever. No, there's no whelk stall, no end of the pier, no bingo, no virtual reality centre. There's virtually no reality at all. Really? I don't know what you'd do with yourself in the evenings. What would you do in the evenings, <laughs> eh? Well, if there was a few of you, it would be all right, but yeah. you, if there were two of you, it would be boring. <laughs> Depends on the other person. Well, yeah, it? absolutely. <laughs> well, you've unwound for the last three days. You think about it. Came here with backache, a stinking no. cold. Mm. What else did you have? 
You had a pain in the chest. I had a pain in... I was having a heart attack. Oh, look at that boat. It looks like it's going over. Now, that's something you seldom see in Las Vegas. The Swan Hotel costs from £53.50 a night on half board. You can get cheaper accommodation by staying in B&Bs from around £20 per person.